Hi, this is Guru from GuruWrites.com with part 10 of the C# Sharp tutorial series. If else statements. A developer while coding comes across a lot of scenarios where they have to make decision making powers. C# Sharp introduces to you a lot of mechanisms to accomplish the same. One of them is the if statement. The if statement consists of a boolean expression followed by one or more statements. If the boolean expression turns out to be true, only then the statements within the if block will execute, not otherwise. The flow diagram looks something like this. You start the if block. Within the if block, you have a condition. Based on the expression, if it is true, the conditional code or the statements within the if block will run else the statement will simply stop let's look at visual studio's demo go to new project choose c sharp windows console application give it a name and click on okay In the main method, we will write down some code. We will prompt the end user to enter two numbers. And once we receive those numbers, we will store them in two temporary literal variables of type integer by the name num1 and num2 and compare them in the if expression. To insert the if block, write if and press tab two times to insert the if snippet. In the expression write down if num1 is greater than num2, then execute the following statements in the if block. Write cw for console write line, press tab two times and in the console.write line Display the message number 1 is greater than number 2. Press Ctrl F5 and enter two numbers. Num1 is 5 and num2 is 3. And this time num1 is less and num2 is more so the expression doesn't evaluate to be true henceforth you do not see the message number one is greater than number two an if statement will only work if the expression evaluates to be true if else statement an if statement can be followed by an optional else statement which executes when the boolean expression is false so the if statement executes only when the expression is true and the else statement will only execute if the statement is false. Let's look at a diagram. So you start the if statement, face a condition. If it is true, the if code executes. Else, if it is false, the else code block executes. It's as simple as that. Come, let's uh, evaluate this in Visual Studio using the demo. And we will add an optional else statement where the if else block completes. And we will display a message using console.write line. Number one is either less than or equal to number two. If it is not the if block, it will be the else block. So let's hit control F5. Number one is six and number two is 44. So definitely number 1 is less than or equal to number 2. But we are still not sure whether it is less than or equal to. So if you write 55 and 55, we really know it is equal, but still we are not sure through the program whether it is less than or equal. So in this scenario, we will use else if block and pass in a Boolean expression if number 2 is greater than or if number one is less than number two. So this time we are damn sure 
that number one is definitely not equal to but less than number two and we can also follow this with an else block and say the other outcome could be possibly that both these numbers are equal. So you can include multiple else if blocks within the first if and the last L blocks. The first one should be always an if, the last one should be an else. In between, multiple else ifs are allowed. So now we will say if the first number is less and the second number is more, we get the outcome. If you hit control F5 once again, if both the numbers are equal, we still get the outcome which is the last else block. So this is called an if else if block. We can also nest if statements within other if statements. And the syntax for it looks something like this. The inner if only executes if the outer if evaluates to be true in the first place. Let's look at this example in Visual Studio. So come to Visual Studio and you can see we have the first if block in which the number one is being evaluated to be greater than number two. But that doesn't mean it will always be a positive number. So we want to check if the number one which is greater than number two in the first place is it also greater than zero if it is then we will display a message that number one is a positive number let's hit control f5 and see what the outcome is so the first number num1 will be minus seven and the second number, num2, will be minus 9. In which case, number 1 is definitely greater than number 2. But it is not a positive number, so the second nested if statement did not work for us. Because, you know, if only works when the statement is true. In this case, number 1 is 7, number 2 is 4, and both the if statements work fine for us. Because number 1 is not only greater, but it is also a positive number. Thanks for your valuable time. If you feel you have learned something new today, please click on the like button below. If you have any queries or suggestions, kindly post them down in the comment section below.